Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to send automated birthday email. We'll be using Lido app for this purpose. Let's dive in and open Lido app. If you're new to Lido, it will prompt you to sign up. Otherwise, log in using your existing account, such as your Google account. I'll be using my Google account to log in. I will proceed by pressing continue. Once you're successfully signed in, you'll be greeted with a blank Lido spreadsheet. Now, to populate this spreadsheet, we'll need data. We'll utilize Google Sheets for this purpose. Let's quickly create a new Google spreadsheet and name it Employee Birthdays. After populating the spreadsheet with the necessary employee birthday data, we'll integrate it with Lido app. Copy the URL of the Google spreadsheet containing the data. Return to Lido app. And at the top left corner, you'll find an option labeled Connect Data. Click on this button, and it will prompt you to select the source of data. You'll find various options such as Google Sheets, Salesforce, Typeform, MySQL, Postgres, and many more. Since we're using Google Sheets, select that option and proceed to input the URL of the spreadsheet containing the employee birthdays. After that, I'll click on Connect to Google Sheets and choose the appropriate account. At this point, Lido will request permission to edit, create, and delete Google Sheets on my behalf. I'll proceed by granting all the necessary permissions and then click on the Continue button. Next, a preview of the data will be presented, allowing me to choose which columns to display or hide using the options provided in the left sidebar. If everything appears correct, I'll click on the Add Data button. When prompted to choose a table name, I'll opt to keep the same table name as my Google spreadsheet and click on the Save button. Following this process, Lido will convert the selected range from the Google spreadsheet into tables automatically. We have now synced our Lido spreadsheet with our data from Google Sheets. Now that we've imported data from the Google spreadsheet, we have three columns, name, email, and date of birth. All these cells are currently locked for editing. If I double-click on any cell or attempt to edit it, you'll notice a warning stating that the cells are protected because the data is pulled from Google Sheets. To make changes to these cells, you'll need to update them directly in the Google Sheets and then click Refresh in your toolbar. In essence, any updates or edits need to be made in the Google Sheet itself. Let me demonstrate this process to ensure the syncing works smoothly. I'll rearrange the rows in the Google Sheet and then check if the changes are reflected in the Lido spreadsheet. After rearranging the rows in the Google Sheet, let's refresh the data in Lido. As you can see, the order has been updated here as well. It's functioning as expected. Now, our next step is to send emails to these recipients, right? For that, we need to define the subject and body of the email. I'll add another sheet to this Lido spreadsheet by clicking on the Add icon. Here, I'll designate one cell for the subject and another for the body. In cell B1, I'll write the subject, such as Happy Birthday, and in B2, I'll draft a simple message like Hey, Happy Birthday. All right, let's continue with the process. I'll navigate to the Employee Birthdays tab and add another computed column adjacent to the date of birth column. This column applies a formula to every row. We'll use it to construct the subject and body of the email. We'll reference cell B1 in sheet 1 inch for the subject. It's essential to convert this reference into an absolute one by prefixing it with dollar sign, so that every cell in the subject column refers to this specific cell in sheet 1. Now, let's label this column as subject. Similarly, we'll add another computed column and reference cell B2 for the email body. Again, we need to convert this reference to an absolute one. Let's hit Enter and ensure everything is working smoothly. We'll rename this column to Body. Now, to initiate the email sending process, we have another function called Send Gmail, which we'll incorporate. This is basically an action which you can run manually or automate it to run on a schedule. Adding yet another computed column, we'll type in Send Gmail. 
I've already integrated the necessary credentials for this process. If not, you can add new credentials by clicking on Add Credentials. Next, input the recipient's email, subject, and body into the respective fields. Let's name this column Send Email. As you can see, the email construction is complete. Let's test this out by running it manually. You can either click on Run Action or first preview your email. Upon previewing, you can click on the Send Email button. I will click on Run Action button. And there you have it, the email has been successfully sent. Let's check my Gmail account. Here, you can see in my Sent box, the email has been sent successfully. Currently, the app sends the same birthday wishes to every recipient. However, we need customized emails, such as, Hey Jane, happy birthday. To achieve this, we'll need to make our subject and body dynamic. This means they should refer to rows dynamically. To accomplish this, we'll edit the formulas. I have added emojis as well. Now, our subject and body are dynamic. They reference the name column using the at symbol within square brackets, which represents the current row. This is known as structured reference. This way, the email content becomes dynamic, personalized for each recipient. Let's check in the Employee Birthdays tab. You may notice that the square brackets are still preserved in the email. To rectify this, we'll utilize a function called String Template. We'll update the formulas for both the subject and body by passing the subject and body string within the String Template function. You need to lock the cell argument with dollar sign, but if you forget, Lido will prompt you to update the formula as shown here in this dialog box. Then you can press Update Formula and you will be set. String template replaces the name variable with the name in the corresponding rows. This will allow dynamic referencing. Let's test this out. In the Send Email column, I will first select the action and then I'll click on the three dots which will give us the option to either run the action or preview the email and then send it. The action has run successfully. Let's confirm in my Sent box. As you can see, the email has been successfully sent. Everything appears to be working smoothly. Now, let's move on to automating the email sending process based on the recipient's birthday. We'll add another computed column for this purpose and add the following logical expression. This formula checks if today's date matches the day and month of the employee's birthday. As you can see, all cells in this column evaluate to false except for the first one, whose birthday matches with today's date with respect to month and date. Let's rename this column to Send. Now, in the Send Email column, we'll incorporate this logic. We'll wrap the Send Email function with an if-else statement. If the logical expression in the send column evaluates to true, it will display the send email action. Otherwise, it will return false. You may also write if G2 equals true instead of just if G2 if that's easier for you to interpret the formula. In summary, based on the logic of the send column, we're determining whether to populate the cell with the email action or return false if the person's birthday doesn't match today's month and day, so that when you configure this column to run automatically on schedule, only the cell having action will run. Now, let's set up automation to run this column automatically. You have the option to manually run the column, which will execute the action in each cell. However, since only the F2 cell contains the action, only that cell will be affected. For example, the action won't run for other cells in this column. However, manual execution isn't ideal for our use case. We want the action to run automatically every day. To achieve this, click on Run Column on a Schedule and set it to run every day at 9.30 a.m. Now, all the cells in this column having action will execute daily at 9.30 a.m. Lido Automation will do the following, even when the file is closed or you are logged out. Every time the automation is scheduled to run, in this case, once a day at 9.30 a.m., it will pull in any new Google Sheet rows. Update the Lido spreadsheet cell values to depict the current state of your Google Sheet. Auto send the emails that need to be sent according to our set conditions. In this case, the condition is if today is someone's birthday. 
Next, let's add a status column to track whether the email was sent successfully. We'll add a linked column and connect it to the email column. This will ensure that even if the data source is reordered, the linked column values remain connected. I'll rename this column to status. In the Send Gmail action, you'll notice an optional fifth option called Status Cell. I'll provide H2 cell for this. Now, when the email is sent successfully, the status will be updated accordingly. Furthermore, instead of having a separate column to check whether to send the email, we can integrate this logic directly into the Send Email action. I'll replace G2 with this logic. And then we can delete this send column. Let's test it manually. As you can see, the status has been updated to success. Checking my email, you can see that the email was sent successfully. Let's also check the recipient inbox. And here you can see the email has arrived successfully. Sending emails and building this workflow was remarkably straightforward. I particularly found the action column and the string template feature to be incredibly useful. It solved our problem efficiently. Overall, my experience with the Lido app has been enjoyable. You can test the Lido app for free. Consider using my referral link provided in the comments to sign up. Share your thoughts and experiences with the Lido app in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and goodbye.